We're on our once a week morning date. Well, we haven't gone here in a while, actually. We every morning. That's true. Oh, this specific place here. Oh, yeah, McDonald's. We haven't come here in a while. We were coming here like once a week, but then we kind of stopped for a minute. Yeah, I'm so excited. I want a guava and cream pie. I'm just kidding, I don't want that, don't order that. What? Nothing. <laughs> Do you know my order now? So you gotta get the egg and muffin. Just the egg and the... No meat, no cheese. Yeah. Good morning. Can I get number one with um, no meat and no cheese? Can I get the number one with no meat and no cheese? Number one, no meat and cheese. What can I drink? Orange okay. juice. Okay. Anything else for you? And then, can I get um, two egg McMuffins? Not the okay. meal, just the... And that one with no cheese? Two egg McMuffins, one with no cheese? Uh, both of them with no cheese. Okay, anything else? Do you want hash browns? And then... Um, uh, hot cakes. Hot cakes. Hot cakes only or with sauce? Just Hot cakes only. Okay, what else? Anything else? Um, no. What was that one? Huh? Said love also. No, I was kidding. Oh. Guava. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you. Okay, number one with orange juice. No meat, no cheese. Two ima muffin, one no cheese, and pancakes only, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I get one. Uh, the donut, the glazed donut. Ooh. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> that's it. Thank you. Per window, please. Thank you. Like low key, I was like, oh, I want to try that, but I was like. Oh, no, I mean, I love glazed donuts. I think that's new. I don't think I've seen that before. I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. And it's like a pool. Yeah. Like a donut hole almost or something. Right. I could put them all together. Yesterday I'm who let it. What if they're Israeli and I said that? Maybe they give me it for free. <laughs> I've never seen Israelis in McDonald's. Four kids in the middle. 24 boys. <laughs> Thank you. Why do you think that is? Because they work at. Thank you. Because they work at. Um, Thank like you. Restaurants that they have to speak Hebrew at. I think. I think you probably don't come all the way here to work minimum wage job. I mean, the people at the mall with the lotion. No, they get bonuses and they get. I mean, they get them a visa to come and work. What here. about the airport? You said you worked at the airport. That was a minimum wage. Really? Hello. That's a high skilled work. How do they, um. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> they literally put them together. That's so funny. <laughs> it's it's so so cool. Where's the whole donut? This is the donut. Oh, oh I know. I always wondered that too. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I guess they just make them. <laughs> no, but like. I guess they just make them to begin with, like little round things. That is true, though. Like. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have your drink, babe? No. Oh, um, you know what? I forgot they have that coffee. That was good. Do you want to go back around? No. But you love coffee in the morning and we never go out. At home. Wait, you have coffee at home that you like? I'll have it at home. It's not the same as McDonald's. We can go back around. No, I want it. Ask him for the whole donut. <laughs> Where are the donuts you took this from? My mom used to work at McDonald's. That was her first job. I think it would be like a fun job to work through the drive through but I would be annoyed at people like TikTokers trying to come through and like prank you and harass you. And remember we saw that one of the person being like, Burger King's in a class action lawsuit. Like I need free catch. I'm like, why do people do that? And that guy's older. He knows better. He's been on YouTube for a minute. And I'm like, can you not harass it's the weird. people at the drive through Oh, this has cheese. Uh oh, not a good sign. <laughs> Maybe they did one with one with us. Usually they get it perfect. It doesn't look too melted though. Okay, this one's good. This one's mine. <laughs> Is it melted? Yeah, actually no. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. He did just think one. Oh. It's okay. Are you sure? Do you want to go through? Because I would go through again if it was mine. Maybe I am not here. <laughs> but that's, you didn't get all of it. It's in the corner. I don't mind the cheese that much. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, thought you didn't I just don't mind the whole cheese. The cheese touch. Yeah, the cheese touch. I'm trying to get a hot dog. You love the hot dogs. I like the ones at home. 
Mm-hmm. We were talking about, oh, you need a napkin? How Always. <laughs> we think Pete Davidson, because I'm like, I never really thought anything of him, and now he's everywhere. Well, he's always everywhere with Ariana Grande and stuff. But to me, I never thought he came across as, like, a charming, cool dude, you know? Like, Jason Momoa, Ryan Reynolds. Like, they come across as people like, oh, my. Like, Jason Momoa is like, that guy is so nice, so cool. Pete Davidson doesn't come across that way. And it's not because of his looks. It's just, like, I, like, those text messages to Kanye made him seem like an asshole. I was like, why do people like him? Like, I don't know him. I don't know, but it's... But you were saying in person, you probably think he's, like, cool and charming. He must be. What? I mean, whoever is around him seems to really love him. So I take that as my indicator. The people that actually know him. and mm. like, To me, he always looked like he's the life of the party. That's so funny. I don't know. I, don't, I guess I don't get any vibes from him at all, but... I don't know. I think it's so interesting how people become so famous just for like because he's not famous for being funny on SNL like an Adam Sandler type because Adam Sandler wasn't famous for his personal life like Pete Davidson's more famous for his personal life and I always think it's so interesting how that happens you think it's by design like you think that's a publicist or something that no I think he's on SNL then over there he comes across a lot of famous people oh. and he leaves a good impression they like him and it goes from there. Do you think that's how he met everybody? Is that how he met, mm-hmm. like, Ariana and Kim? That's my feeling, yeah. I think that's how... Because they, you know, they always have a big party after the show. They, like... How do you know? Every show. How do you know that? It's public knowledge. What? Know. I've never heard that. They have a party at midnight? Every SNL, after the show, they have a party with the cast and crew. Where? At the studio? Somewhere. I don't know where. How come more people don't talk about that? Like, how come there's no paparazzi pictures from that? Mm-hmm. I never heard that. Like, I read books by, like, cast members, and they never talked about that. I didn't know. Maybe a special occasion? I mean, it could be right. I thought maybe you knew something, like you heard something. I saw it. I just saw, like... Oh, I didn't know. That's then, cool. I didn't know that. I mean, he's not unfunny. I'm just saying, like, I don't... There's nothing memorable. Like, I don't remember, like, a skit that he does that's, like... That's a Pete Davidson right. skit, you know. But um, interesting. But how do? Oh, maybe but, maybe he's a good writer on the show. Maybe he writes a lot of jokes and things. That's how I think about that other guy, Kyle Mooney, the one with the curly hair. I think he might be a good writer because sometimes the ones he's in, I'm like, <laughs> he's. I'm like, hey, maybe he's just a really good writer because he's been on forever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not judging. I can never be on SNL, but. Like Saturday Night Live. It's just, it is so stupid. The skits are so dumb. <laughs> like, we watch them. But they're so stupid. They used to be so good. I feel like the 90s had such good skits. Like, the year though, like, I gave you the sauce. Or maybe they're not good. I don't know. I think they're good. Just different style of comedy. I'm not dated, so that's probably why. They're funny when they try to be, like, edgy. Now? In general. Right. A lot of times they play it safe and then it's not funny. But like that one sketch we saw about Instagram, like, why do you like it? I'm like, this is the stupidest sketch. And it's like, we watched the whole thing, but it was so dumb. (laughs) I mean, that's a sketch from like, should be 10 years ago. (laughs) Right. Like it's, it's so weird. But... I guess that's why people like it. It's kind of mindless and it's Saturday night and you're just like, oh, it's something to watch. You want to have it? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. We had a, our Monday, Tuesday was like a weekend because we were so busy on the weekend and we worked on the weekend. So Monday, t- well, I take, I take days off. Yeah. You're always no, working. Yesterday, too, was, <laughs> yesterday was the aftermath. Oh, you did a lot yesterday. I should just speak for myself. I don't do anything on Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> yesterday. I only spent two hours getting all the confetti <laughs> out of the pool. You should have just filmed it just for me because I wanted to see it. I, I can't even picture you. I didn't know that's what you were doing, I guess. I thought you were just out there like monitoring because you were picking up furniture. Both. Oh. I didn't know. 
I guess I could look on the ring. Maybe it's on the pool ring or something. There was so much. Because they blew that kind of like three times. Oh, yeah. It was biodegradable, by the way. Mm -hmm. So there's so much confetti in the pool. And I was just like getting to the bottom of the pool. So you kind of have to... But there was something therapeutic about it, you know, like catching them with the net. <laughs> You're weird. And because it's so heavy and big, like you have to slowly kind of go with it. I don't know, it was like a workout. That's why I love you. Because you find that calming in some way. I find that so stressful. I didn't think it would be possible, but like, I don't know. What do you think about the controversy that we changed the name to Peter Sackman Family Channel? And everyone's so upset. I mean, people should be upset if there's content that upsets them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the it was your vlog. Your My peaceful vlog, vlog at the rock. That was, <laughs> they could not handle <laughs> That set them over the edge. Actually, no, everyone really loved your vlog. So, are you going to do another one this week? We're thinking yeah. like... This? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I mean... I'm saying today. Mm. Yum. Saves my sleep in bed. <laughs> I think is when I do do work. I like when I decide I need to be productive. Then I like I'm productive from morning to night, and I like never stop. I can't just like I wish I could just do like one video a day, but no, it has to be like fully That's more dedicated. Annoying. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Because I need to get ready and, you know. But if you're just boom, 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 ready to go. It's like, okay, next, 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 next. I agree. For me, because I'm always glam. I can do it anytime. <laughs> I like, know. Oh, let me film a video right now. No, it's really not fair to be a guy. Because, like, honestly, you guys look the same all the time. Everybody looks the same. Like, when they wake up, whenever. It's like, me, no. Just me out of bed. I know, it's so not fair. It's so true, this is me out of bed, literally. <laughs> you were not a fan of the hotcakes, were you? <laughs> I'm neutral about it. Like, you don't love it. I love them. No, they're like sweet. For me, the right, I mean, they're better than just a pancake. For me, pancakes are always about the sauce, the syrup sauce. Usually if I'm at a so restaurant. So these, but... these you can just eat by themselves because it's just like cake. Like egg? Oh. Mm. We I had the cake. best desserts all weekend. Oh my mm. god. Those cupcakes and the cake. No, we really have. So last night I like, couldn't even eat any sweets. Well, I didn't have cupcakes at lunchtime, so. They're so good. Oh, well, nice to know where to go for desserts. Whatever we want. Because cake is hard to find. Like, good cake. Like, it's so hard to find it. Like, those sliced cakes and stuff, they're not, like, that good. We would like to buy a whole cake to get a good cake. Are you excited for Passover? When is it? Friday. You told me this morning you know the basic prayer. How's it go? No, I mean for... <laughs> you said you knew. They were doing the Friday prayer. For Passover. Right, but what he was doing... <laughs> so he was saying, why is he saying it so fast? Because he knows it by heart. Um, it's the Friday prayer that he was doing. Do you know the Passover prayer? You don't know it at all? Mm -hmm. I feel like you do. And you're just not wanting to speak deeper. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad. We're hungry. Hungry. Because last night we only had tombstone pizza for dinner. Because we ate at Cheesecake Factory for lunch. Which, like, honestly wasn't that good yesterday for me. Usually I like it better. This chickens were littler and not as cooked. I like them when they're really crispy and big and they were kind of little and mm. not so crispy. It's different every time. I know. The chefs are... You know who has good crispy chicken is hummus, hummus bar. And some food. 
No, but the, oh yeah, sometimes Gretchen. I forget about. I always forget about that place. The Passover prayers are more like they go through the whole story of Passover. Oh. So they read the whole story of like. Yet, yet, the times and all that. People. Moses and the Pharaoh, and then getting them out of Egypt, and the plagues, and all that. So how's it go? And that's the gist of it. Babe! <laughs> what do you mean, how's it go? You know. It's a whole book. Which part? <laughs> any part. <laughs> Just any prayer. <laughs> There's no, it's not like a prayer. Like I said, they tell the story of Egypt, of leaving Egypt. Before you eat? Oh man, I should push this back. I'm always... It's like the movie. Huh? It's like the movie we watched. Which one? Prince of Egypt? Mm -hmm. Or Ten Commandments? More like the Ten Commandments. Maybe I'm going to finish that on Easter. <laughs> My dad wants to see that movie about the priest with Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Which one? He sent it in the group chat. Father Stu. Yes, no. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg is changing his whole brand. He's only doing like Catholic movies now. It's a new movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was like a old movie. No, it's in theaters this weekend. Oh. I think Mel Gibson's in it. <laughs> oh wait, the new Mel Gibson movie. Yeah. Well, he didn't direct it. It's not. It's not the yeah, resurrection. He has a movie too. A new one. I don't think. You mean I've like seen... the sequels of Passion? No, I've seen Mel Gibson being interviewed about the movie. Recently. Well, he's in that movie with Mark Wahlberg. But they interviewed him as if it's his movie. That, that he directed? Oh, maybe he directed it too. Maybe. Produced everything. I guess people... Yeah, that would make sense. It's crazy how, like, it is so crazy how, like, cancel culture, like, doesn't take. Because it's like, Mel Gibson says some, I mean, like, actual anti-Semitic things. And people are just like, oh, well. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, torn between it. Because it is, like, should you separate... I mean, they always say this, like, separating, like, the art and the artist, right? Like, mm -hmm. Mel Gibson has, like talent and a good message with like these kind of movies but also like is he awful is that good not really it's, it's good i mean i think it's Was more it your style Real, dry <laughs> it's thicker i like the fluffy okay i'm not hungry I'm not oh it's spilled. um i think with mel gibson oh, it's, cold. it's more like he's in his yeah it's not like one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, donuts are supposed to be soft and fluffy. No. Okay. With Mel Gibson, his, um, I don't know exactly what he said. If he said it when he was like drunk or yeah, definitely you know, like that kind of stuff. Well, well, drunk to the cop about the innocent American mark, but like to his girlfriend, like he was saying like the N word and hope she gets mm -hmm. R'd by and like it was that was crazy. Right. Which you could have been drunk, but still, who says that when they're drunk? Like he definitely has like anger. Anger issues, being drunk, all those things. And he's old. And then, like old but I think his market, his audience, if they are there to watch Christian content, then they don't care what he thinks about Jewish people. You know what I mean? But he was still in like that huge movie, Daddy's Home Too, with like Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Like he was, he's in like big movies, so not just. Right, but there's the Christian side of Hollywood. Oh. Um, so that's why he works with Mark, and then they don't care about that. That's so funny. You're right, because that is, yeah. Because there's, there's different kinds of Christian. There's Christian people that love Israel and the Jews, and there's Christian people that don't like them because they crucified Jesus. Or My dad think, loves Israel. My dad went there with a Or they think that's Catholic why church. Jesus was crucified, because they read, read him out to the Romans or something. Wait, really? But, but I feel like that's like old school Christians. I don't think like there's, are there, or now. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Mel Gibson seems to be like the old school Christian. Because my dad like went there with a Christian church to Israel. Mm -hmm. And they like were like loving it. They went to like the Jordan River and Bethlehem. Jerusalem. People like they go everywhere. It does suck. But like, yeah. I guess people like draw the line at like Woody Allen. But they didn't because they gave him Oscars after that whole scandal. So I don't know. I guess now people draw the line at Woody Allen. They're like... I mean, the movie we saw was last year, the whole documentary about right. Woody Allen. And then what? Nothing happened. I know. Well, I guess he's kind of like, like there's not new movies coming out with him. Well, how old is he? Is he like 80, 90? Yeah, he's 80. 
<laughs> I mean, the time he retires. It's like, God, it sucks when people are like crappy people, like that crappy. I can't even like defend him. I used to have it in my bio, my Twitter bio, like I was in Gibson Memorial, and I didn't even like even know the severity of it. I was like, damn. But then it's like, well, Gibson, like I'm torn because it's like, no, I'm not torn. Like he's so shitty, but it's like, oh, but I want to see this movie. I like it. I like like movies that are like Christ based, but. Well, just say you like. Um... Why are they Wahlberg? so extreme? But he's so extreme too now. He's like, he's just, they get so extreme. And that's why people don't like Christians. I mean, it's like in every community, but it's like the LeBrant family. They're all like, oh, Christians are awful now because they like only want pro-life. And I'm like, that's not true. <laughs> and it just sucks that people give them a bad name. Like Christianity. But I guess it's any religion, like Muslims, the extreme ter like terrorists, they give Muslims a bad name. So people are like... Hate, you know, they have that hate crimes against Muslims and Israel too. They don't like the Orthodox, like the extreme. Really? People that are extremely religious, they don't like them. Like extremely Orthodox, Jewish. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, because you know they do go to the extreme. You know, actually, I don't know. I don't know any Jewish people that go to some TikTokers maybe, but like, you don't know any big Jewish celebrities that are just like anti-Christians or anything. <laughs> no, well, I think they wouldn't be celebrities if they were. We didn't know, oh, I know we're gonna go, but we didn't know, I didn't know, Mayim Balik, Bialik, from Big Bang Theory, Blossom, and uh, the host of Jeopardy, she was, like, she's so, what should I just describe herself as? Modern Orthodox. She was r raised Reformed Jewish, which means what? Like, not Jewish? No, you're still Jewish, you just don't practice. So she was raised Reformed Jewish, but then became Modern Orthodox and, and minored in Jewish studies, no, Hebrew and Jewish studies, which is, like, so crazy, but cool. We're learning all about cleaning the counter. Oh, I gotta and her that name. tomorrow. I gotta clean it. We're, that's our daughter's name, Mayim. It is actually. No, they didn't tell them what it means. They don't know what Mayim means. Well, they should know. Who? Because of you. No, but they don't know what the words you know. Well, how do you know there's not people watching in Israel? To the five people that are watching in Israel, <laughs> good job. For the rest of you. Mayim means water, which I thought it was Mayim. It is. I mean, she kind of. Added another syllable. Mayim. Or maybe it's Mayim. I don't know. How, maybe that is how you pronounce the name. You just short it in Hebrew. It's Mayim. 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 I like it. I think that's cool. Mayim. Because her name is more, almost like May. May. Mayim. 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 I don't know if I'm saying it right. But um, we're learning now about cleaning the counters. Well, we as in me. I didn't know about that. Well, how come we didn't clean our counters before? Because <laughs> we're Before not, Passover. Because I'm not an Orthodox. <laughs> but we should be kosher for Passover. All right, let's go home and clean. And we got to clean the fridge. It's more like spring cleaning. I mean, you're just not supposed to have any anything that has to do with the bread. Like bread and products that have to do with bread. Oh, yeah, she said she ate all so the pasta last week. Throw away all the pasta, crankers. I mean, you would not survive seven days of Passover. You can't have it during Passover? No, you only have matzo bread. Well, that's bread. <laughs> that's like. No, but you only have the unleavened bread, like the bread that didn't rise. So that's the matzo bread. Really? So the Jews were running away from Egypt for the Egyptian, and as they were running away, they made food. They couldn't wait for the bread to rise, so they had to cook it flat. And that's what the matzah bread is. So, to commemorate that, you can't have any bread. That's so, you have so to clean weird. And vacuum and everywhere. You can't have even one crumb of bread anywhere. But in reality, it's kind of like it's spring cleaning. So it's more like you clean the house for spring. Oh, can we do that with our shelves in the kitchen? They bother me so much. Yeah. And the box. We have to go through boxes one day. Maybe next week. Next week. <laughs> no. Our week is busy this it's week. Fine. Wednesday we're work we're working. Thursday mm -hmm. we got to see your family. Friday I gotta see my family because my sister's leaving soon. Your mom's leaving soon. And then Saturday that's like it needs to be a relaxation now. It's a pool day. Because I have to exercise. Yeah, it's more I'll day. try oh, that should be my record. Maybe I'll try and go on the elliptical for, you know, twenty minutes. Because one I want to watch nine day fiance, but two, I think my knee will get there. It's just like sometimes it hurts, but anyways. And then Sunday's Easter, so next week I'll dedicate a day to box cleaning. Mm -hmm. Cause I want to. Because I for some reason I really think since being pregnant, I'm like, okay, we need to declutter the house. Like I really want to get rid of everything. Don't I do a good job getting rid of so much stuff? I'm always yeah. like, you're the one that's like, no, no you she should just keep that. Away. She doesn't care about anything. She's, I keep she... throw it all. Throw away. I tell boxes. you to do that actually. I'm like, you know what? You don't even need me here. Just throw it all away. I don't care. You use your best judgment. 
but that one day we were doing it my knee hurt i didn't have a sports bra on i need to like be mentally prepared to do it that day just like the days i'm prepared to go outside then okay you know but it works then you have clothes you can wear you have things i do find things yeah and i'm like oh they're <laughs> kind of cute and then i give them to my mom to posh she's in a posh roll well we've been check out my posh mark i think it's trish p88 i think i'm the number one follow like my mom told me i had like i think the most followers more followers yeah because they used to they used to sponsor me this company that worked with Poshmark like they used to give me like money to talk about them which I mean I'm talking about them for free it doesn't matter because whatever but they used to like give me like money to talk about them god I wish I had a Poshmark sponsorship because it's like actually use that ish and we buy stuff off there too <laughs> literally a sponsorship we got this okay. we got Moses a surprise and what I still so, well my mom negotiated so you should thank her because usually like I would have paid full I didn't know you were supposed to negotiate on Poshmark I thought you just like pay full price and I was like oh it's kind of expensive and I don't know it's kind of what what could it be I just can't even she got it down a lot what you would get from Poshmark it's kind of like a funny gift okay I hope I like it it's like I will give it to you now, but then I'm like, ah, I feel like like Father's Day. It? She has it, yeah. But then I'm like, I feel like Father's Day come around. I never, I never have gifts for you for anything. I'm like, I should keep them. But then I'm like, oh, I kind of want to give to you. I feel like Six we're both like that. Father's Day. Well, no, but that's like the next big thing to give you a present for. So. Oh, I thought maybe it's related to the baby. No, it's not. Something. Okay. Like I would keep it for your birthday, but your birthday's so far away, and we're like those kind of people who just want to give each other gifts. Which is why when birthdays come around, it's not that like I don't. Even my birthday, I swear this year, I like literally don't care because. No, you always give me gifts. Never fall for it. And more than ever, I feel like I love when you just do things for me rather than give me gifts. I always thought I liked when you give me gifts, but I like it better when you do things for me. Yeah, I mean, you do you both. Have them both. <laughs> you, know, you do always give me random gifts and cards. Last week, you got me a card. I was like, oh, I love it. It's very nice. It's very thoughtful. Well, if I don't say I love you enough, then there's a card. It's written. Aww. Yeah, you're definitely yeah, not you words see. of affirmation. If we go through your love language, it's definitely not words of affirmation. I'm just not words in general. That's not true. What? You have lots of words. What's the <laughs> other one? I don't know. There's words, gifts, acts of service, quality time, which is a weird one. What's that mean? I don't know. So I guess it's kind of what we do. You know, like We're always we're, together. No, but I mean, like, if we're just, like, in the morning cuddling in bed or in the evening oh bed, yeah like, but i don't really care that much about it like i was saying like i guess maybe if you weren't around maybe really i take like, it for granted huh? what do you mean you because really like when like, you go out to garden i'm like oh i get like a lot done but i guess it's because we do spend so much time together no i like it of course i like it but. yeah no but think about people that don't like it all to be with somebody <laughs> like that type of intimacy of just quality time or but isn't that a relationship in general quality time like that shouldn't be like not everyone has that. So they don't like to spend time together? No, there's people, there's people that are so obsessed with whatever they're obsessed with that oh, more, that's more than their own personal relationship. And what's the last one? We counted four. Yeah, there's five, five love languages. There's one that I was, oh, touch. Oh, that's your big one, I feel. I love that. That's like the same as quality time, no? I guess not. No, because you can have touch apart from quality time or quality time without touch I guess I should stay in bed longer in the morning usually I'm away from you, you always come over you always try and cuddle and I cuddle for like 10 5 minutes I think your physical touch but your acts of service is just I always say it it is it's crazy I've never had anyone do anything for me but also so much for me for us I mean, you do a lot for me that, like, has nothing to do with you, and I'm like, okay. What do you mean? What? There's nothing that's to do with you that has to do with me. Babe, you'll, like, go up and get my water if I'm, like... But that's, like, simple. That's I mean, not. That's a lot. Of course. If you're pregnant and you're sitting and you're comfortable, I'm like, the least I can do is bring you water. But even before I was pregnant, you would do stuff, like, for me. You would. Well, I enjoyed it. Uh, everyone says that. All my friends are like, you're the best person ever. I tried to free. I was I was halfway down the stairs. I'm like, can we go back up and see if there's a teacup up there? <laughs> but then he said no, and I was like, okay, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I try. 
I'm curious about that gift, but it's, the... <laughs> it's really not that great, but it's funny, <laughs> I think. Okay. It's more like funny and cute. All right. <laughs> it's like nothing you want. Like I can't imagine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nothing like, like you're like, oh, I really want that. Where would I put it? I can't tell you that. <laughs> it's something I wear in the winter or in the summer? Babe! <laughs> It's something Israeli. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> but it's no. not like an Israel thing, but it's Israeli. But it's not like a flag or something. <laughs> a menorah. <laughs> what? No. Literally uh, nothing no. you would expect. Are you sure it's not for you? <laughs> well, we could <laughs> share it. That, <laughs> I think it's probably something that you want to see me either do or have. <laughs> it's something I would like to. So exactly. that's why I was like, you know. Mm. Those are the best kind of gifts, though, are the ones we can share. <laughs> oh, man. It's like that pink Ralph Lauren shirt I got for you for the gender reveal. I was like, well, if you don't like it, I'll wear it because it's from Mean Girls, too. Lindsay Lohan wears it on Weird Pink Day. So she borrows it from Damien. Huh? It's an Israeli clothing related <laughs> thing. Because I'm giving you. You won't be able to guess. <laughs> You'll never be able to guess. Probably a Zohan merch. <laughs> it's definitely not that, but or like an Israeli we have so sport much Zohan. <laughs> Israeli sport team. No, <laughs> what? It's so know, cause random. Because there's a famous team and it's all yellow and I've never on once it. you heard talk about once heard you talk about. We're gonna fly Lohov to Israel. <laughs> What is it? El Al. El Al. This video is sponsored by El Al Airlines. No. They're cheap. They wouldn't have a sponsor on one. <laughs> well, now they won't. <laughs> Moses used to work for them, and we love you. If you would like to sponsor our trip no. to Israel. No. Even if they pay the tickets, I want to fly them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why? Because I just don't like <laughs> the airplane. The You're seats are banned. The seats are like this tight. My knees are against the seat in front of me. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll never get a sponsorship with them. Oh, you said they wouldn't pay anyway, so. No. I like it. You guys still. The plane is full of babies and kids. It's like the whole That's 16 hours of soon. flight, people, the kids are screaming the whole time. That's going to be us soon. There's Bamba everywhere. You love Bamba, though. <laughs> not That's on the not floor. Good, though. Well, final note Pamela Anderson starts in Chicago tonight. I really want to see her I'm trying to convince Moses to go to New York. Birthday or around my birthday, not on my birthday because my birthday's on Mother's Day this year, and that's just be a nightmare to go out. But do I go around my birthday? But you're not convinced yet. No, we'll see. There's like things happening around the world right now. You're worried about like the sickness. Also, you don't want to go there and then be like, okay, I have to wear masks and do this and do that. And oh, right, yeah. I mean, the only reason I don't like masks right now is because I can't <laughs> breathe. I'm always stuffed up. I wonder if I'd fit in the seats. <laughs> I didn't barely fit in the seats at Donnie and now I'm like fatter because I'm pregnant. Not a bad way, fat is not a bad thing. Just watching someone being like, fat is a neutral term. But I am whiter. Right, should be fine. <laughs> <We'll> <laughs> You're <get>. like. <laughs> no, I don't think you, I don't think you change in the weight. I do, I was wider. That Donnie one, I was like squished. And that was like when I was Those skinny. Those were tiny <laughs> seats, I was squished too. Oh, Those seats were just like. Shoulder to shoulder with everyone. It's not just. Me. All right. Well. Any parting words? Well, we're we'll be parting the sea soon. Passover. <laughs> Moses parts the ocean. That's up. Happy Passover. <laughs> Hug some if. Hug some if. What's that? What's the specific one for Passover? Hug Pesach Hug Pesach Bye. Ha <laughs>